Hey guys, welcome to Little Mal's Advanced Weapon Tactics. Today we are out here, Little Mal's back up in upstate New yep. York, and we are testing out the EMA piercers. So these were featured on the Deadliest Warrior in the Shaolin Monk episode. And basically it's a ring with a spike on it, and you can spin these around. Not really sure how to use these properly, maybe Zen Dragon knows, but we're just using these for the weapon test. All right, yeah, so here with this weapon, the main feature of it is this ring, and it's on a little bit of a, a, a nut pivot, right? So you can put this on your finger, spin it around. I mean, I don't know exactly how this thing works, but right, you spin it around, that's the general idea, and you get some like acrobatics, Assassin's Creed type stuff going on with that. So that's pretty interesting. You can also just, you know, put it on your, your uh, middle finger there, right? hold it in, and now you have a shank. So we'll be testing this out using on old Ivan here and seeing what kind of results, what kind of damage we can get on this bad boy. So, I mean, it, it's pretty innovative. I like it. It um, has history dating back in the, China, in the in the Asia and China. So very interested to see what kind of results we'll get with this because it is very small in, in terms of the other weapons that we've tried, right? So by comparison, this is one of the smallest weapons we've tried. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of results we get, if it can match up to some of the more beefy stuff that we've tried, like the spears, the claymores, and just even the one-handed swords and scimitars and, and, and those sort of weapons, so. Little Mal presents Advanced Weapon Tactics, the weapons review show that tests the lethality and destruction of various cultural artillery. Will this week's weapon be powerful enough to destroy our new main heads? Find out now. Do not try this at home. So this time we have our first Ivan head. I'm not sure what happened, but it got a little discolored when they sent it to us. We got these from Zombie Go Boom. Links in the description. And basically this is our first Ivan head before we had this squishy head, so it didn't actually have the skull. This one has the skull in it. All right, so it's gonna be Matt's first divs on Mr. Ivan. All right, so we're going for a right eye shot here. I'm basically just gonna grab onto the top of his head. You know, maybe like a sort of stealth move. Maybe you're up behind him, you're like, but, but you know, no, we're not behind him, we're in front of him. So anyways, look, this is gonna be the first shot. Here we go. Just barely clipped his eye. Ba but that's quite a bit. That would probably poke out your eye. Look at that, that's gonna need stitches. Yeah, I mean, it took off a fair bit of flesh. And did it make it to Just the skull? That. It didn't quite make it to the, it didn't quite make it to the skull, but it's definitely a good shot. Give it another go, that one was a little wanky. Ooh, you got that nice eye shot. So there's that. How deep you think it went in that? That was a little wimpy. It didn't it didn't go in too deep to be honest with you. Maybe a quarter of an inch. Do you think that would result in blindness? Oh definitely, definitely. I mean any sort of the eye is a very delicate part of the body, so any sort of damage going in there is gonna be <laughs> devastating to say the least. So we're gonna try the same shot as Matt did, and then we're gonna go down for one of these. I think that's where we're gonna get the most effectiveness. Oh, we got to the bone. Oh, right here. Oh, yeah. So we got a little bit into the bone. We were a little bit off, but let's try to get more towards the middle. Yeah, that's a nice shot. You can see the bone chipped off right there, and that compounded the first shot I hit on this yeah. guy and just wow. So these actually quite hurt your fingers. You gotta be careful. So we got here, I think, right? Or maybe here? Yeah, it looks like that cheek shot is uh, where you got this cheek, cheek, right there. So we're gonna go for a top-down strike with the EMA piercers. So this isn't actually quite that real flesh and it's not that sharp, 
but it's actually going down to the skull. You can feel it. Actually, maybe you can see it right here. All right, so we got him on the ground, ready like we're gonna impale the zombie for the finishing shot. Let's see it, Matt. All right, here we go. Just go to town on it. Oh, oh wow. He wasn't kidding about that hurry. Ooh. Ooh. So, yeah, that's the one thing about this. You don't got any cushion with the ring, so it's... All the force goes right into your finger. And then without it, too, it's kind of hard to hit without it, right? Because you want you want to be holding on to the center of mass and it's kind of in the way. Let's analyze the damage. Tell us what happened here, Matt. Okay, folks, so it looks like we have a really deep wound here. Oh, We're yeah. talking two I, I mean, that goes down really far. It's kind of hard to tell. You go to the bone. Oh, definitely. Definitely down to the bone. We're talking two, three inches of penetration there. And then on the left eye, okay, we don't see as much penetration going on there, right? Maybe an inch. But you can see it does break the flesh, it looks like, just barely. Still... It's a, it's a little more shallow than the right eye shot there. Also, we had this shot to the nose. You're going to make him like Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> right under the nostril cavity. Wow. And I think that's the uh, that's that's pretty much all we had. Oh, no. We had another one to the... Oh, the... wow. That's his whole eyebrow. Yeah, just clean off. Wow. All right, so I'm gonna go from this angle and see what we can do. Now, because the way the face is shaped, it's hard to get a dead-on strike. It kind of deflects a little bit. That's why your head's shaped the way it is. I'm hitting the skull. Now I'm actually bending the little brass ring up here. Check that out. So this was a circle. However, the brass ring did kind of bend. I mean, we could bend that back with a pair of pliers. I'm not sure how long this will last. These are only like $20 and they're not very sharp, but I'm sure if we sharpen these, we can get quite a bit more damage. But let's assess this, because we got a lot of strikes up here. So as you can see, here, here's a deep one. This one definitely goes all the way to the bone. Over here. And these are bone-quenching strikes. They're gonna need stitches for all of these. Okay, so that was the Eme piercers. What you think about the damage there, Matt? Yeah, pretty impressive. The thing about these you have to remember too is, like Little Mouse said, they aren't exactly that sharp. Yeah, they're S pretty blunt, actually. So if you did take them to a sharpening tool grinder, right, you would be able to get a lot more impressive results with this. The other thing to note about the piercers, right, is that little ring connector piece that can result in some discomfort for the user, right? So it may be helpful to modify that system or... I'd just... say wear a pair of gloves. A nice thick pair of gloves can actually help soften the damage. Even these crappy gloves helped quite a little bit. Now, even though it wasn't sharp, we were getting down to the bone almost every strike. So that's pretty impressive. Now, it's not going to go through the bone. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect, you know, some decapitation with those type of weapons. But just to be able to provide stitches wounds for every strike is pretty crazy. All right. So if you like this video, make sure to comment, rate, subscribe. Next, we have the Ming Dynasty Court Sword. Mr. Ivan. 
We're going to try it on Ivanhead. <laughs>